In eight and a half years I've been married, my husband and I have moved ten times. This has given me lots of experience and practice learning the do's and don'ts, what works, what doesn't work when it comes to moving. So I'm going to share three steps that I think make moving a little bit easier than it otherwise could be. Step one is to clean. Step two is to pack. And step three is to prep and move into your new place. Step one is to go room by room, go through all your stuff, clean it out, get rid of it, be realistic. Do you really use it? Do you fit in it? Is it broken? Does it really fit in your home? So what doesn't work, get rid of it. Have a garage sale, donate it, give it to a friend, throw it away, eliminate it before you even pack your first box. Get rid of all the stuff you know you don't want to pack, load, unload, and put into your new house. Get rid of it. The second step is to clean is to clean your house that you already live in. There's no reason you have to wait until you move out to clean. Go ahead, dust your fans, clean your windows, um, dust your baseboards, patch and paint the holes that need to be repaired. Do all of that before you even move. That way, when you do move, you can focus on your new place and not have to keep going back to your old place and having to work to fix that place up. The second step is packing. I would suggest that you don't pack until two weeks before you move. The later you wait, the less going back and digging in boxes you'll find that you have to do. Um, I go room by room. I pack by the room. I label it. Um, like my son's room, I'll say James's room, and then I'll list books. That way, I know those are James's books, and they're not books that go on the shelf in the living room, or books that go in our room, or my daughter's room. Those are James's books. And that way, if I need to find something for whatever reason, they're in James's room. I pack the box, I leave it in that room. That way, they're easy to find. I don't have to dig through the whole house's, the whole house worth of boxes to find things. Um, the kitchen. Don't even bother packing it until like the day before you move. Trust me, it's way easier just to pack it all at one time versus packing some plates but leaving some plates out. And am I going to use this pot or that pot? Just wait, pack it all at one time, and then enjoy a night out or two to dinner at a restaurant. Don't even bother cooking in your kitchen after you've packed. Another great tip is to invite some friends over. Order some pizza, invite your friends. Make it a packing party. You can do that if you wait, then they don't have to know what can go or not go. Just put them in a room and let them go. It can be really a lot of fun. Step three is to prep your new place. All the cleaning you did at your old house, do it at your new house. Get it ready to move in. That way when you get there, you can set up shop and enjoy your new space. Another thing is because you've labeled all your boxes by what room they go in and what's inside, label your rooms so that those members of the church, most likely, who are helping you move, know where they go. You don't have to stand at the door and go, second door on the left or third door on the right. They can see that the box says James's room, and they can go to James's room. They know where it goes. It will cut down on the moving on your part after they've all left. And lastly, give your movers a treat. Those who help move, those who help load, and those who help unload. Um, whether it be drinks or cookies or pizza, I'm obviously a believer that pizza brings people. Be appreciative of those who help. Um, and then, once everything's in, take it room by room. Nothing feels better than having something complete. Put your room together first if that's what you want. Make your bed, hang your curtains, make it yours, make it beautiful. And it shouldn't take too long if everything you need is right there in the room. I really believe in the room by room system. Clean it room by room, pack it room by room, unpack it room by room. It's a no fail system. I have really enjoyed this process of looking back on all my moves and 
the evolution that has come as a result of so much practice. And I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much.